Houston Texas and Reliance Stadium the site today for football welcome to this AFC South showdown as Houston squares off against Tennessee. They're lined up for the kickoff so let's get this game started. Crosby is just about ready to kick this one away. This one is handled by Robbins. Should be a beauty with two of the most talented defensive units in the league. We all know the defense wins championships. And we'll be watching two of the best that the NFL has to offer in this one. And since both of these teams really get after the quarterback, and create a lot of pressure. Don't be surprised if you see a lot of takeaways. Peppers drags the ball carrier down behind the line. Nothing doing in the middle, and they stop him for a loss. When you have players who are as active and as aggressive as these guys are, you're going to see some tackles for losses. Ball on their own 18. Ball on the 18-yard line. The Titans line up in a 4-3. It off. Nelson is there on the stop at the 24 yard line. Williams runs it through the middle again of about six. It's third down and six to go. The Titans line up at the quarter defense. Comes up to make the play at the 24. The third down run comes up short, so we should see a punt here. Randall L lines up deep for the punt return. From the 42 yard line. Randall Lamb returns this one to the 48 yard line. Ball right around midfield. The Texans come out of the 4 3. Rabel is there on the stop at the 49-yard line. Right now, they need to keep going at the defense with a run. Sooner or later, they'll be able to break one for a big game. Saw at about midfield. Ball on the 49-yard line. Lynch in the backfield. Rogers sends a man in motion. They're blitzing. Pressure coming. Mike Vrabel is a guy that can put intense pressure on when he rushes a quarterback off the edge. After the sack, they'll be looking at third and long here. Houston comes out in their nickel packet. Dropping back. Pressure. They take another sack, and that brings up fourth down. They shot through there and used both moves and power to disrupt the play and get that sack. Nothing happening for the offense. They're forced into a three and out. So the punt goes out of bounds. First and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. The Titans line up in a 4-3. Crosses it out to the right. That one started off poorly and only got worse. That defensive line did a better job than the offensive line, and that's how they were able to get penetration 
to stop that play in the backfield. Second and 15. Ball on the 27-yard line. Only one man in the backfield. Batch sends a man in motion. Boy, the counterplay. Vilma is there for the tackle. Williams takes it up the middle for a yard or two. Third and 14. Ball on the 28 yard line. Batch will work out of the shotgun. Dropping back, gets the pass off. Almost in a second. What the defense is doing is they're watching the quarterback's eyes. They're pulling. They're in position so that whatever happens, the ball is in front of them. And that time, it almost got him an interception. So three and out, and they'll line up to punt. Fair catch called for. Fair catch made at the 32 yard line. The it's first and ten. Start the drive at the 32 yard line. First and ten. Houston lines up in a 4 3. Runs through the tackle. Moley is there for the tackle at the 40-yard line. you got to keep going to the run. You never know when there's going to be a great blocking ahead of you, allowing for a big one right into the end zone. Only one man back on the carry. McFadden is there on the stop at the 43. Excellent run for a first down. They brought some extra heat with a blitz, but he was able to find some room and pick up the first. first Ball on their own 43. Ball on the 43-yard line. Houston comes out in their nickel pack. Fakes the throw. Under pressure. Rolling. Just couldn't get that pass under control. He did a nice job of getting off the line and getting into his pass pattern. But he had the ball bounce right off his fingertips. Second and ten. Ball on the 43 yard line. The Texans with a four man front gets the call. Look at that power. Stratton is there on the stop at the 44 yard line. The defense held their positions and didn't let him get very far. Ball on their own 44. Ball on the 44 yard line. The Texans come out in the quarter defense. Drops back with the pass. Right on target to the wide receiver. The 20, the 10. Touchdown, Titans. He gets a great block right here to spring him for the touchdown. I'll tell you, he takes a defender right out of his shoes that time. point attempt is good so following that touchdown the score is seven nothing Titans Looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. This one is fielded by Robbins. 
Now it's their turn to do something on offense. They're down by a touchdown early. But these guys have the kind of offense that can score any time they have the ball. Ball on their own 20. They line up in the I formation. Hands off to the tailback. Peppers comes up to make the play at the 27 yard line. Now let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. Second and three. Ball on the 27 yard line. The Titans with a four man front. They jumped early and got flagged. So he's called for encroachment. The defense needs to concentrate better than that. Nothing frustrates a coach more than a penalty like that. Ball on their own 32. Ball on the 32 yard line. The Titans come out in a nickel package. Pass play here on first down with the throw. It's broken up. All he can do is look at his hands and wonder what the heck happened. The backs are lined up in an eye. They give it to the halfback. Ovan is there for the tackle. Now they got to keep going at it. They can get that defense tired and on its heels, these games will get longer and bigger as the game goes on. Ball on their own 36. The Titans come out in a dime package. Gets rid of it, comes up with it. Jonathan Goma brings him down before he can reach the marker. He gets the pass to his receiver who will come up just short of the first down. You're never sure why a quarterback chooses that pass instead of one deeper downfield on that third down situation. Salam is ready to punt this one away. Randall L. will go back to accept this punt. And he waves for the fair catch. Fair catch made after 24 The first and ten. Start the drive at the 24-year line. First and ten. Keep moving. Houston comes out in their nickel package. Closing in. Throwing. The defenders got it. The 30. The veteran safety is there for the interception. You know, there are three types of safety. Ones who play the run well, ones who play the pass well, and ones that do both well. He's a both kind of player. First the offense gets ready to go oh, following the interception. Williams in the backfield. Battle the man in motion. Dropping back to pass on first down. Gets the pass off. This one falls incomplete. He was pressured as the defense forced the issue. Yeah, and that's something the defensive coordinator mentioned in practice this week. Making the quarterback throw the ball before he's ready to throw it. Second and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. The Titans come out in a 4-3. Aimed it off to the back. Number 30 is there on the stop at the 14-yard line. Williams kept his legs moving, gets seven hard-earned yards. It's third down, they have to get it to the 12 for a first. Looking for room. Fakes the handoff. Looks to the end zone. And it's complete. Hood is there for the tackle. At the one yard line, they convert for the first down on that throw. And they ran the perfect play to get those couple of yards. It's first and goal at the one. Williams lines up behind his fullback in the eye. On the ground. Nice play fake. 
fires for the end zone. Oh, man, he had it in the end zone, but dropped it. One person breathing a sigh of relief is the quarterback. It's second and goal at the one-yard line. Can he get there? Dives, touchdown. Now, this is exactly how to get the ball in the end zone. Just get in behind the center and guard and keep pushing and pushing until they're putting up six points on the board. The point after is good. They got excellent field position and made the most of it. They took the ball by the horn. They weren't about to let that favorable circumstance turn out unfavorably. to kick this one off. Sends it sailing. This one is fielded by Randall L. The defense forced the interception the last time this offense had the ball, and they'll be looking to do the same thing here. First, First and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. With the carry, Short comes up to make the play at the 20 yard line. Mixon runs with passes, keeps the defense on. Saw him on their own 20. Houston comes out in a 4-3. Pressure coming. He was tipped. Grading pressure can really change the way an offense operates. They need to keep some extra blockers in, either a tight end on the line or a back that can help them out with their protection. Third and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. Houston comes out in their nickel package. With the throw, the wide receiver has it. Bowler comes up to make the play. John, he'll be well short in the first half. Now here's the thing. The defense had all the guys covered who were beyond the market. So it was up to the short man to make something happen after the catch, and he just couldn't do it. Robin, into return. Fair catch. Fair catch made at the 40-yard line. The ball on their own 40. Start the drive at the 40-yard line. First and 10. The Titans with a four-man front. And sack. The veteran slips in there and gets the sack. And you still got to give him a lot of respect. His moves haven't diminished that much, and he still makes impact plays. Now in second and long after the sack. At the end of the first quarter, we're all even. Houston, seven. Tennessee, seven. And we're ready to start the second quarter. Second and 13. Ball on the 38-yard line. Aimed it off to the back. Number 57 is there on the stop at the 43-yard line. A tough running game will make your passing attack even more effective. Pick up of about five. Ball on their own 43. Ball on the 43-yard line. Let's go now. 
Crosses it out to the right. Thomas comes up to make the play at the 45-yard line. So we should see the punter after they fail to convert on third down. Nothing happening on that drive, and they'll punt it away. He's waving for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 18-yard line. They'll start the drive at the 18-yard line. First and 10. The Texans come out in a 4-3. Throwing. He finds his man. The 30. Harris is there on the stop at the 41. That was a good adjustment by the receiver as he reads the man coverage and finds open space. The thing with these option routes is everyone has to make their read quickly and make their adjustments quickly. Running option routes and running them effectively takes a lot of repetition and practice. The Texans come out in a nickel package. Rabel comes up to make the play at the 44. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. Houston lines up in a 4-3. He gets the count. Wistrom is there for the tackle at the 45. I know they didn't get much, but it's all about making the defense respect the fact that you're willing to run. It's third down and seven to go. Will, Will, Will. Houston comes out in a dime package. Dropping back, pressure. This guy seems to make big plays in every game that I watch him play. They need to do a better job of sliding the protection over to his side. Sastadil will come in now to punt it away. Robin sets up to run back the punt. From the 22-yard line, Robin has nowhere to go and is wrapped up at the 22-yard line. First and 10. At the 22-yard line. First and 10. Nothing. They don't get nothing. The Titans come out in a 4-3. Under pressure, gets rid of it. Nelson comes up to make the play at the 35. Great throw to beat the zone. I tell you, the defense has to do a better job of coming up and clamping down on the receiver whenever he enters their zone. Ball on their own 35. The Titans line up at a 4-3. This one is handed off. They're going to spot this one at the 45-yard line. It's three tackles so far for him today. Ball on their own 45. Ball on the 45-yard line. The Titans with a four-man front. Troop, the man in motion. Let's go now. Closing in. Loose ball. The Titans recover. Veteran lineman saw the loose ball and pounced on it. Yeah, you better believe it. He's still got some big playability in that body. First ball on the 39-yard line. Ball on the 39-yard line. Lynch, the lone setback. 
the counter play. McFadden comes up to make the play at the 39-yard line. They've had a tough time establishing a running game so far. This front seven is doing a heck of a job of shutting down the running lane. Second and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. Houston goes with a four-man front. Pressure coming. Rolls right. Looking for something wrong. Ooh, nearly picked off. Deep throw, nearly picked off. That was great defense right there. He got excellent position, and he did everything but come away with the ball. Third and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. Nothing deep. Turn over, turn over, turn over. Great shoot. Throws it. Incomplete pass. The offense executed the play just the way it's drawn up. The receiver just couldn't get it under control. So as we get set for the punt, let's take a look at our returner's stats. Sastadil comes into the game for the punt. Robin looks like he's ready for the return. Won't take a chance trying to return this one. It's first and ten. Troop, the man in motion. the call. Jonathan Doma brought him down for his third tackle. And now our viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been today. Second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. The Titans with a four-man front. Batch with a man in motion. It's a blitz. With the throw, this pass is incomplete. Plenty of pressure, and he barely gets the pass away. This defensive coordinator understands that pressure is the key to forcing the offense into making mistakes. If his players keep playing like this, he might be up for a head coaching job pretty soon. So as they get set to try to convert, here's what both teams have done on third down. The Titans come out in a nickel package. Looking for room. Nice play fit. Pressure looking for something wrong. Drops the interception. Deep throw, nearly picked off. When you've got a receiver who wins a lot of jump ball situations, you've got to throw it deep to him. That time, the defender got the better jump. Salam is ready to pump this one away. Randall L sets up, waiting for the punt. And he chooses not to return this one. They'll start the drive at the 46 yard line. First and 10. The Texans with a four man front. And off to the tailback. Short is there on the stop with the at the 49 yard line. One thing these guys don't want to do is give up in a running game. Because if they do that, they become one dimensional. And that plays right into the defense's hands. Second, second down and eight to go. Ball on the 49 yard line. Roger sends a man in motion. Let's go. Dropping back. Rolling out to his right. Rolling. Broken up. This is a team that likes to take shots downfield when they see an opportunity. Passing downfield will open up the running game and passing routes underneath, even if you don't complete the pass. Chambers was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Houston comes out in a dime package. Gets rid of it. Wistra is there for the tackle at the 48. That play won't help their third down conversion percentage today, 
I wonder what the receiver was thinking. Running a route that wasn't going to put him past the first down marker anyway. They're going to bring in the punt team for the fifth time so far. He signals for a fair catch. Fair catch made at the 11 yard line. The two minute warning coming up. Drive at the 11 yard line. First and 10. The Titans with a four-man front. Batch sends a man in motion. Crosses to that to the left. Goal. Created problems in the backfield on that one. So after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. And we've reached the two-minute mark here in the first half. Batch will work out of the shotgun. He hands it off. Play action. Throws it. Just couldn't get that pass under control. He put the ball exactly where you want to put it. Third and 12. Ball on the eight yard line. it off to the back. Harris is there on the stop at the 10-yard line. Not getting the first down that will probably bring out the punter. Unable to get anything going on that series. They'll have to punt it away here. From the 44, keeping him at bay. It's first and ten. Houston lines up in a 4 3. Pass play here on first down with the pass. Can't hang on. John, he rushed that throw. And you should credit the defensive line. They do a nice job tying up the blockers and can bring pressure up the middle. When you combine their play with the fact that the defensive coordinator likes to bring additional blitzers from the outside, it can make for a very long day for the quarterback. Roger from the shotgun. Drops back with the throw. Intercepted. Chambers was his intended target. Winfield had the coverage on the play. Third and ten. Ball on the 40 yard line. Deuce it, deuce it. Let's go, Dean. Let's go. Three. With the pass. Incomplete pass. I think that was the case of just thinking about what he was going to do with it once he caught it, instead of thinking about catching it. You got to catch it first before you can think about what you're going to do with it once you get it. Sastadil will try to pin them inside the 10. And he signals for the fair catch. Shotgun. Williams goes in motion. He'll pass on first down with the throw, and he makes the grab. Midfield. The receiver breaks free. The 20, the 10. Touchdown, Houston. I'll tell you, this is nice work by both the quarterback and the receiver in this play. Watch it here. He reads the coverage, 
looks for the best option, and then throws it to him. So they score the touchdown in just one play, and what a huge play. Anytime you score a touchdown on the first play of the drive, either you did something incredibly right or the defense did something incredibly wrong. will be kicking off. Good distance. This one is fielded by Randallette. The offense couldn't get anything going on their last drive, going three and out. They'll so they have first and ten here. Twenty yard line. First and ten. Defense lines up in the nickel. They'll bring the blitz. He can't get away. Wally Agumlie is a good defensive end. He's tough against a run. He's a very good pass rusher. Second down, and they need 15 for the first. The Texans line up in a 4-3. He gets the count. Harris is there on the stop at the 23. You never know when you're going to find some room and break loose into the secondary. Third and seven. This team has to start converting on third down if they're going to be successful. Under pressure, throws it. Incomplete pass. I'll tell you, the defense made a great stand right there. They're coming now to punt it away. Robin, back to return. And he waves for the fair catch. Hey, I know they want to increase the lead before half, but they got to be careful and not let the other team back in it with a turnover. First and ten. First and ten. Batch from the shotgun. Fires this one deep. Almost picked off. Got just a little too much air under it. The Titans come out on the 46. Closing in. Well, here's the thing. Now the defense gets into the backfield. But you gotta be able to move your feet, avoid the rush, to give yourself a little more time. He just didn't do it. Ball on their own 29. Ball on the 29 yard line. The Titans come out on a nickel package. At 
the end of two the score is 14 7 Texans. Brown looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. Nice distance. This one is taken by Randall. Well, John, as predicted at the start of the game, the defenses are dictating the pace of play. Yeah, they sure are. They're really taking the offenses out of the game, playing the run tough and shutting down the pack. Rushing on first down has not worked out for them today. Less than a two-yard per carry average. That's why they're losing. You've got to be able to get yards on first down. Almost in the Holy and his hands on it. I think he was invisible out there. Wasn't even seen. And that's a break for the offense. Roger has had some trouble moving the ball through the air so far. So let's turn to the chart for the story. Houston goes with a four-man front. Handed off to the back. Sure, he's there on the stop at the 22. They might not be busting off big game, but those linemen are really working hard down there. Ball on their own 22. Ball on the 22-yard I think this defense looks forward to these third down situations because they've been stopping them today. It was almost like the defenders were in the huddle on that series. They hit a roadblock with everything they tried. Sastadil comes into the game for the punt. Robin is back to receive this kick. He's waving for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 36 yard line. The first and ten will start the drive at the 36 yard line. First and ten. The Titans come out on a nickel package. Watch each other back. Everything you've got. it off to the back. Number 30 is there for the tackle. Williams runs it through the middle again of about six. Ball on their own 42. Ball on the 42-yard line. What's the hard count? What's green? We're talking about green. It's the pass off, and it's caught. That makes the catch and goes for about three yards of the wing of third down. Third down, less than a yard. Ball on the 46 yard line. The backs are lined up in an eye. Hand it off. Goal is there on the stop at the 48-yard line. That's some good stuff right there. You give it to your back, have a ball straight ahead for good yardage, and you get a new set of downs to work with. Ball on the 48-yard line. The Titans come out on a nickel pack. They reached him just as he was throwing. Making shots like that will really affect his rhythm with his receivers. Second and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. Play hard and fast, baby. No stop, no stop. The Titans come out in a nickel package. Throwing. Comes in low, but he has it. He'll feel that one tomorrow. John, he's proven he's a consistent target. Yeah, especially in situations where they're looking to get first down yardage. First and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. 
Over swing right. Here we go, baby. Rock and roll. All on us, y'all. Check it. Hand it off. Hovan comes up to make the play at the 34-yard line. This team's always trying to get a good mix of run and pass plays. Ball on the 34-yard line. Ball on the 34-yard line. From the start, from the start. Williams, the lone setback. Great fake with the pass. Jumps up and comes True. down. Makes true. Tails his quarterback out by a spectacular catch. Yep, that was an unbelievable catch. That took the ability to block out the entire field and focus on bringing them in. First and this is the eighth play of this run. They're threatening inside the 20. They'll make this a two-possession game if they get into the end zone on this drive. They're just inside the 20. That was just a big-time play by the defense. They got low on the defensive line. They pushed the pocket, and they were right there to bring them down. Ball on the 24-yard line. Ball on the 24-yard line. The Titans line up in a 4-3. Pressure coming. Got to him as he throws. They did a nice job up front with their bull rushes and rips and stunts, forcing adjustments along the offensive line. They have to do a better job getting off the ball and controlling the line of scrimmage. But they're going to have a tough time whenever they drop back to throw. Ball on the 24-yard line. Batch scans the defense from the gun. Here we go, baby. Let's go. Be good. Pressure, rolling out to his right. Rolling, he was tipped. He, he got nailed man. just as he oh, threw it. You're not going to get too many passes off when the defense gets in your face like that. So they're lining up for the kick. This will be a 42-yard attempt. Now, it to see it's, through. it's good. What they want to do now is to realize they've established some things on offense and to approve upon them the next drive to get a TD rather than a field goal. Brown is back and ready to put this one in the air. This one is taken by Randall L. This is where you want to respond quickly, or this could turn into a battle for field position. The ball on their own 20. Start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and 10. Lynch, the lone back. Davis in motion. Here we go. No stop, no stop that motor. No pass on first down. With the throw, comes in low, but he has it. Harris is there on the stop. Excellent recognition by the receiver, reading the coverage and adjusting his route accordingly. Option routes are receiving routes designed to take advantage of the coverage. It's up to both the receiver and the quarterback to make the same read. If the receiver reads zone, but the quarterback reads man, you can see passes going right to defender. Nickelback in this time. In this direction. Short comes up to make the play at the 39-yard line. You can't have a good running attack without blocking. The blocking alone won't get you what you need. You got to have a back who can find the holes when they're there. Second and two. Ball on the 39-yard line. Defense, get ready. Lynch, the lone back. Tucks it away. Fakes the handle. Rowing. Incomplete. Randall L. Was the intended receiver on that play. The intended receiver on the play. Third and two. Ball on the 39-yard line. Big play, baby. The offense has had trouble moving the sticks on third down so far. Hand it off. 
midfield. The 40, the 30. A lot of room to work with. The 10. And he gets all the way into the score. Well, here's a look at his numbers after a nice run, and you can see he's been able to break some tackles. Scoring a touchdown not only puts points on the board, it sends a message to the other team that if you execute properly, they won't be able to stop you. And they say 90% of the game is half metal. Crosby comes in to kick off. And he got all of that one, a great kick. This one is taken by Robbins. Just about ready for the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last drive. push up front it's a lot easier to pick up yardage on the ground the Titans with a four man front play action throwing just couldn't get that pass under control yet another drop for him And here's a look at each team's success on third down so far. Only one man back. Pump faking. Stepping up. As these quarterbacks become running quarterbacks, we need defensive ends like Julius Pepper. Those quarterbacks can run with speed, then you better have someone that can run with speed who's trying to catch him. Salam is ready to pump this one away. Randall out. Lines up deep for the punt return. Fair catch. Fair catch made at the 43 yard line. The Titans will start the drive at the 43-yard line. First and 10. The Texans with a four-man front. Hand it off. Mike Vrabel wraps him up and now has four tackles. Lynch is having an outstanding day with over 100 yards rushing. Ball on the 47-yard line. Ball on the 47-yard line. Safety run! We like to press the rules. Hey, watch that screen! They give it to the halfback. Parrott is there for the tackle at the 47. He saw where he wanted to go with it, and before he knew it, the hole was closing up. On third down, they have to get the ball to the 47-yard line for a first. They'll go from the I formation. Roger sends a man in motion. Drops back. Going deep. Incomplete. Good defense and three and out series are the way to keep your defense fresh and rested.
So three and out, and the lineup to punt. And he chooses not to return this one. Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. Here we go. Hey, let's go. William in the backfield. Let's go, dude. Let's go. No pass on first down. Rowing. He finds his man. He took what he was given, completing the pinch. Yeah, what you want to do as a receiver who's facing zone coverage is to break into the secondary, find a hole, settle down, and show the quarterback your numbers. That was a good job. Second and one. Ball on the 29-yard line. On the ten, ten. The Titans line up in a 4-3. Cross play to the left. Goal is there for the tackle at the 32. Good call by the offensive coordinator. Looked like the defense was looking for something in the middle on that play. It's first and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. Only one man back. Receives the handle. Number 57 comes up to make the play at the 36. The best backs in the league average four to five yards a carry. But there are a lot of things that go into a successful running game. you got to have good play calling, good blocking up front, and a back that can take advantage when he sees the open. Hand off to the tailback. This one will be spotted at the 44. He put the hit on him, and he now has seven tackles. There we go. From the start, from the start. With the throw. And it's complete. Walking for a first down against single coverage. At the end of three, score is 17-14. Texans. The teams are set for the fourth quarter of play. First and ten. They line up in the I formation. Batch sends a man in motion. Under pressure, gets rid of it, and this pass is completed. Nelson comes up to make the play at the 40-yard line. Troop picks up about six after that catch. Second and four. Ball on the 40-yard line. Only one man in the backfield. Going to the left. Nelson is there for the tackle at the 41. The defense came up and stopped him right in his track. That's just the kind of thing that the defensive coordinator loves to see. Third down play here. They have to get it to the 36. Troop goes in motion. Defense, get ready. Here we go, baby. Rock and roll. Hey, lost the ball. Dropping back. Throws it. Complete from the wide receiver. He zips that pass in there and picks up the first down. Well, you look for the open guy in any play, but there is a progression. You look to your first guy, then your second, and so on. He did a nice job of going through the progression that time. First and this is the ninth play of this drive. The Williams, the deep man. Batch with a man in motion. With a counter play. The 10. Touchdown, Texans. Carnell Williams. Runs it into the end zone for the second time.
Number 15 comes in to attempt the point after. The point after is good. And the lead is now double digits following the big touchdown. Brown is just about ready to kick this one away. This one is taken by Randall L. Time's running out for them. So if they want to get back in this game, they're going to have to find a way to get into the end zone on this possession. The ball on their own 20. Houston using three linebackers. Mike Rabel brought him down. That's his fifth tackle of the game. Lynch takes advantage of a little daylight, picks up three yards. Second and six. Rogers scans the defense from the gun. Gets rid of it. Thought he had something long, but there's no connection, and it's third down now. Third and six. The Texans come out in a dime package. Keep the throttle down. Closing in with the pass tipped away. No, it's caught. Smooth comes up to make the play at the 39 yard line. In today's offenses, it's more important than ever that these receivers can make something happen after they catch the ball. Short passes can turn into long games when you have guys that can really fly. Harris is there on the stop at the 48. This back loves to hit the defenders when they come close in for the tackle. He sees the hit coming, lowers his shoulder, and then boom, the defender's left lying there in his back. for the tackle. This is what they have to do. Keep making completions down the field and move the chain. Watch this one. He knows he's got to get the first, and he picks the right guy to throw it to. On the chain, chain. Tackle, tackle. Yes, yes. Davis, the motion man. Rolling right, looking long down the right side of the field. Ooh, nearly picked off. Oh, man, he had it in the end zone, but dropped it. That's the second worst thing that can happen to a defender, to drop one like that. The absolute worst thing is to have your man beat you for six. Second and ten, ball on the 31-yard line. The Texans come out in a nickel pack. Dropping back. Going for six. What a catch. Touchdown. Veteran is able to come down with a pass in the end zone. This is what good, experienced receivers do. They excel when they're given the opportunity to make big plays. Crosby comes in for the extra point. The extra point attempt is good. The Titans find themselves right back in this one. Now it's up to the defense to hold them. Number 
Nice kick. Plenty of distance. This one is taken by Robbins. Houston is looking to add to their slim lead as they take over on offense. Johnson goes in motion. Hand it off. Chris Holman was the man to bring him down. That's his third tackle. Eight yard gain. Ball on their own 27. Ball on the 27 yard line. The Titans come out in a 4-3. They give it to the halfback. They'll go with a play fake. Incomplete pass. He felt the pressure and got rid of the ball. That's what the defense has been talking about. Make this guy throw it before he's ready. It's just that little split second early that can cause an incomplete pass or even an interception. Third and three. Ball on the 27 yard line. Williams lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Pressure coming with the throw. Incomplete as the defender knocks it away. Goal with the coverage. Randall L. gets set for the return as we take a look at his numbers. Nothing happening for the offense. They're forced into a three and out. And he signals for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 35 yard line. The Titans will start the drive at the 35 yard line. First and 10. The Texans line up at a 4 3. He gets the handoff on the delay. Short is there on the stop at the 43. He's done a pretty good job running the ball on this one. He's one of those guys that can help set the pace, controlling the clock early, and help you close it down by keeping the clock moving late in the game. Ball on their own 43. Ball on the 43 yard line. Not today. The Texans line up in the quarter defense. Incomplete. That's the third one he's been unable to bring in. The Titans come out with three receivers fight. Incomplete pass. The defense dug in their cleats and held their ground on that series of down. Turn. From the 18 yard line. Robbins doesn't have a whole lot of room to work with, getting it to the 26. Tackle. 
Third and three. Ball on the 32-yard line. Williams lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Watch him in. Let's turn it up, D. Looking for room. Tommy Harris stopped him for his third tackle so far. That was a good job by the back who just saw the hole, and boom, he hit it right in there for a few yards, and he got the chain gang moving. Almost at the two-minute mark now. the two-minute mark. Only one man back. Looking upfield. Spins away. Vilma comes up to make the play. At the 39-yard line, Williams handles his way forward for what appears to be a two-yard pick. Tennessee calls a timeout. They have two left. Second and eight. Ball on the 39-yard line. The backs are lined up in an arm. Batch sends a man in motion. On the chain, chain. Hand it off to the fullback. Number 57 is there on the stop at the 39. Nothing doing that time, John, as the linebacker gets there quickly. He's one of those guys who's a sure tackler. He'll move up and play physically at the line, come on a blitz, and play the run just about as well as anyone on the defense. Here's a look at the third down success rate of each team. The Titans come out in a 4-3. They get it to the halfback. They'll spot this one at the 39-yard line. It's a half dozen tackles. Well, that didn't cut it. Now they're looking at fourth down. And they made the decision to just keep it on the ground. Take time off the clock, not force anything. This is a luxury of being a half. Salam will come in now to punt it away. Randall L. is the deep return man. Fair catch called for. Fair catch made at the 22 yard line. There's still time left as they try to get into field goal range, but you would think most of the passes will go toward the sideline. So they have first and 10 here. On the 23 yard line. Danny, Danny, Danny. Roger goes to work with an empty backfield. Gets rid of it. Knocked away. He barely got that one off. Yeah, it wasn't a sack. What it did was make the quarterback adjust his throw, and it messed up his rhythm. Second and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. Out of the gun. The rush is on. Gets the pass off. Smoot is there for the tackle at the 30. The coach is having them hurry it up. Blitz is coming. Pressure wraps him up and brings him down. Aaron Rodgers gets brought down for the sack. He's been thrown to the turf five times today. They're going to go with a no huddle. Throws it. Right on target to the wide receiver. This one will be spotted at the 34. And that's now three tackles for him in this game. And they're going without a huddle. He'll stop the clock with the spot.
Second and ten. Rogers scans the defense from the gun. With the pass, and he makes the grab. Harris is there for the tackle at the 41. And they hurry up to the line. Gets the pass off. Incomplete as the defender packs it away. He has a knack for making a big play. That was another one right there. Bryant was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Eighth play of this drive. Ball up on the 41 yard line. Houston comes out in the quarter defense. Throwing. Just can't find a way to bring that one in. He's had a lot of trouble reeling in the past. And this is the ninth play of this drive. Rogers out of the gun. With the pass. And it's complete. Winfield is there on the stop at the 35. Davis didn't get enough for the first. Tennessee calls the timeout. They'll have only a few ticks left on the clock. Send this game into overtime. Well, the pressure is on. This kick would give us a tie game. He sends that one through, and we have a tie game here in the fourth quarter. Crosby will be kicking off. Robert, back to return. This one is taken by Robbins. Just a great game at this point as we head to a fifth period. As we take a look at his success returning kicks, we get ready for the kickoff. Crosby is back and ready to put this one in the air. This one is fielded by Robbins. The Texans will start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and 10. Nothing. They'll go from the I formation. Batch sends a man in motion. The rush is on. With the pass, Vilma comes up to make the play at the 25. Watch this. He stands him up and he puts him right down. That's stopping in your tracks right there. Ball on the 40-yard line. 
The Titans line up in a 4-3. Crosses it left. Number 57 comes up to make the play at the 45. Williams got to the outside quickly and picked up five. Ball on their own 45. He tucks it away. Nice play fade. Under pressure. The pass is picked off. He throws a crucial pick in overtime. After that turnover, here's how both teams are doing in that department. Following the interception, it's now first and ten. The Texans line up at a 4-3. Gets the call. Harris comes up to make the play at the 27-yard line. And that run sets them up in position to win the game in overtime with a field goal. Yeah, I'd be surprised to see him do anything but send in the kicker. Ball on the 27-yard line. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Rodgers will work out of the shotgun. Gets the pass off. Drops the interception. He's had a lot of trouble reeling in the passes. Third and two. Ball on the 27 yard line. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Do you want me to the bats are lined up in an eye. Stay inside right here. Keep moving. Hands it off. Harris brings him down, but they get enough to move the chain. They'll keep the drive alive. Yeah, and when the defense misses a tackle, when they could have forced the fourth down, I mean, that just will drive a coach nuts. First Ball on the 25-yard line. on the 25-yard line. Houston comes out in a 4-3. Bates moves in motion. Drives the right side. Going to be spotted at 19. So he adds another tackle and now has six. Good run there, John. And the kicker figures to come into the game very shortly here to try to win it. That's exactly what they're looking to do. Run the ball and see if the defense bends just enough to give them an opportunity to kick the field goal. This is it. One chance, one kick to win the game. Crosby bangs it through, and that'll do it. The game-winning kick in overtime. That'll wrap this one up, and the final score is Tennessee 27, Houston 24. This is Al Michaels with John Madden saying goodbye for EA Sports.